Sumption's rebel group entered the system five days ago on a freight barge called An Only Child. His organization hasn't claimed responsibility yet, at least, but the smart money says they're involved, has all their hallmarks. Ah, oh, Lieutenant, I see you found our impressive HQ. Commander, let me introduce you to your new number six. Forgive the urgency, but there's no time for niceties right now. Commander Carter will bring you up to speed en route. Spartan 259, Carter. During the op, I'll be Noble Leader, and this is Tom. I'm Noble 2. Welcome aboard. And this is Emil. Noble 4. Just so we are perfectly clear, here's what we know for sure. Contact with the Visegrad Communications Relay Facility was lost at 2630 hours last night. We know it's not a single equipment failure because the whole area is currently a radio dead zone. That also means that once we get within about 10 kilometers of the facility, we're going to be on our own. No communications in or out. That means no way to call for support if we need it. Second squad is already within the zone, so they'll be able to update our intel once we get to the mission area. Visegrad is Hungarian for frozen hellhole. Actually, it means the high castle. The relay facility gets power from a fusion reactor. We're talking original colonial technology. That could be part of the problem, but it wouldn't explain the radio silence. Sabotage seems more likely. You think this is the People's Occupation Group? You think this is really Sumption's work? If it is, it could get ugly real quick. We're going in weapons free, but this place is a civilian center, and civilian casualties look very bad for us and very good for the People's Occupation Group. I want focus and accuracy. I'm sure you don't need to tell you this, but we are a team, understand? You bring us back to full strength. There's no lone wolves here, okay? Eight hasn't exactly been our lucky number. Danny was a good soldier, good friend of ours. He has some big shoes to fill. Noble One, what's the situation here? Over. Noble One to Noble Leader. We scan for the usual rebel hallmarks on our way in. If this is them, sir, they're not doing anything predictable. Noble 5 is already in position. Out. Noble 5, can you get us some additional perspective on this? You got it. Don't touch that dial. Your boot's untied. Oh, Lord. Rosenda, you are right. Looks like we are going to be back to 7 in no time. That hog is still operational. George. No problem. Shell casings? Just bodies. Since when did rebels start using directed energy weapons? Since never. This isn't rebel activity. It's Covenant. We have to get that relay back up. Now. I'm picking up movement. North. 40 meters. Moving slow, but definitely headed right at us. I've got it. 10 meters in closing. Fire on my signal. Don't shoot. I've got civilians with me. Oh, man. Are we glad to see you guys. Oh, thank God. Here, Sarah. Please, quickly. Noble 7, secure that. Uh, Dad? I must protest. Relax, I'll get to you in a minute. Where's the rest of your unit? Sir, I'm it. Covenant Bastard's been picking us off like it's a Foxtrot game since we fell back here from Visegrad. I figured you all for more of them when my tracker lit up again. Where are the rest of you guys? Holding the entrance. Uh, not according to... Huh, never mind. These pigs aren't making any kind of sense. Noble One, where's your location? Over. We're right where you left us, Noble Zero. Holding the main entrance to the facility. Over. See? Here it goes again. Christ! Noble Zero, we've got multiple tangos attempting to disengage. Permission to pursue. Over. Negative, Noble One. Hold your position. If they attempt to re-engage, take up a... Re-engage unlikely. Zero. Tango's boarded a Phantom and are outbound east-southeast and accelerating. Boss, that was the biggest goddamn split chin I've ever seen. Who are you and what are you doing here? Sir, can we do this later? Listen, it's Sarah, right? Listen, Sarah, I know you're having a bad time of it, but you have to keep it together. We'll get you to safety, but you need to tell us what you were doing with that memory module. Oh, God, my father. Whenever you're ready, Sarah. We've... My father and I, we've been investigating artifacts up in the hills. I was just going to upload the... Artifacts? What kind of artifacts? Xenoarchaeological remnants. I was going to upload the data to the Oni server at... Oni? What does Oni have to do with an archaeology expedition? 
The artifacts are historically significant, but it seems they also represented an enormous strategic upper... Oh my god. Noble 3, secure her. She's coming with us. Noble 7, I need you to get the station back online now. No can do, sir. There's just too much damage. It'll take weeks to get this array up and running again. I could splice into what's left of the main overland bundle. Might be a little janky, but you'll have a direct line to Holland. Do it. You're live. Noble Actual, what's your situation? We have encountered Covenant ground forces. I repeat, we have encountered Covenant ground forces. This is not rebel activity, sir. Covenant? Covenant forces on reach? To be clear, you are specifying the winter contingency? Yes, sir, I'm afraid so. And believe it or not, it gets worse. Good evening, Team Noble. Unfortunately, access to orbital intelligence gathering assets is being severely hampered by methods or persons unknown. Until this is rectified, I will be relying solely on terrestrial intelligence gathering assets, and those are limited. Starting at approximately 0900 hours, no fewer than five military and commercial facilities have dropped off the planetary communications network. The call for escalation to winter contingency was, I'm sorry to report, accurate and appropriate. The order and location of these blackouts suggests that they are related. Visegrad was not the epicenter of the attack, but the base of a delta. There are several facilities that are within the reach of potential hostile forces, but Sword Base has priority. I have very little data regarding enemy strength, but what data I do have indicates a high probability that this is a probe. If we assume a single battlecruiser and associated support ships, that would be easy enough to hide in the shadow of the moon. Prior Covenant engagements suggest this means a maximum of 4,000 infantry, 120 mechanized, and 16 ground support aircraft spread out over a 25.4 kilometer front. Sword Base Tower, this is Echo 419er on approach distance 0.8 nautical miles. Over. Echo 419er, this is Sword Base Tower. Continue approach. Wind 060 degrees 10. You are cleared to land. Over. Wind 060 degrees 10. Cleared to land. Out. So we just neutralize a couple hundred unlucky bastards, recommend each other for a pile of metals, and head back home for some hot chow, huh? Never gonna happen. We'd think Soprom was closer. Bigger civvy pop, too. This is the middle of bloody nowhere. If Auntie says it's got priority, that is where we go. Speaking of, where do you think they're taking the girl? If she's lucky, they'll take her all the way to Bravo 6. Earth? Yeah, and if she's really lucky, she'll never see the likes of us ever again. You are aware that it is only under very exceptional circumstances I would take the time to see you in person. Dr. Halsey? Mom? Oh, hello, George. I believe that your friend has something that belongs to me. Let me rephrase that. Sierra 344, you have on your person a data module that you retrieved from Miss Sorvad while in the main control room at UNSC's primary intrasystem system communication relay facility. A data module that formerly belonged to one Professor Laszlo Sorvad and so by law, the Office of Naval Intelligence. How the hell did she know about that? You would be surprised at what the hell I know. Now place the module in the tray if you would be so kind. N344, if you were so bold as to take something that did not belong to you, you might have been bold enough to view its contents. Just so that we are perfectly clear, that data is as far above your security clearance as it is beyond your comprehension. The stuff Sorvad and his daughter were digging up was from, well, they think it was from a battle, and this part is crazy. It happened 100,000 years ago, or at least Halsey thinks so. Non-covenant alien artifacts, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and there was a lot of encrypted stuff that I couldn't get anywhere near. Just because I think this stuff is crazy doesn't mean I don't comprehend it. Word of advice, Rosenda. Yeah, boss? Next time you get a hold of something that you think even smells like ONI, give it to me. <laughs>